Hi guys, it's Liv. Welcome back to another video. I'm really excited to be coming at you with another barn vlog. Okay, so some stuff has happened since last time, so let me explain. In my last vlog, I explained that I wanted to do more hunters, specifically hunter jumpers. So I got a couple lessons to see if I would enjoy it, and after the second lesson, I kind of just realized that I would rather pursue jumpers and not hunter jumpers. Is just more dynamic and hunters just really didn't click with me anyways not that long ago my friend Astrid asked me if I wanted to help train and bring along her new OTTB breeze I very happily accepted the offer and today me and Astrid are going to the AFEC to do some jump schooling with breeze just to get him confident going around off property but before all that, I have to muck out Esmeralda's stall, so let's go do that. And here she is, Esmeralda the princess. She's doing great, but her stall is filthy, so I better get to work. Alright, now she can enjoy her clean stall. But anyways, let me finally introduce you guys to Breeze. Here he is, the lovely boy Breeze. He's a 5 year old off the track thoroughbred. His last race was in 2018 and he was pretty unsuccessful so Astrid's trainer actually bought him and then not that long ago Astrid got him as a project horse. And now we are training him together. Okay, so now I'm going to get him ready so we can trailer him. Hey Liv, I'm taking the tack and stuff to the car, alright? Oh yeah, okay, thanks. But then, when it came to trailing Breeze, we had some problems. Whoa, Breeze, steady. Come on. Whoa, easy, boy. You want me to try? Yeah, I think so. Good boy. So I'll take the tack to the barn if you take Breeze, alright? Oh sure! So I realized I never introduced you, Astrid, so why won't you introduce yourself to the people? Uh, <laughs> um, well, I'm Astrid. I'm aiming to be a professional horse trainer, 
and right now I work with mostly young horses and off-the-track thoroughbreds. When we arrived at the arena, we decided that Astrid was going to do the warming up and then I was going to do a little bit of jumping later on. Hey, wow. So after she had warmed him up and taken him over some poles and a small jump, she dismounted and then I got on. He felt pretty good, he kept an even pace, but he has a lot of problems with maintaining contact because he doesn't have enough muscles yet, but that's what we're going to work on. He has such a nice form over jumps though, he tucks his knees so nicely and yeah, we have a really great starting point with that. In the canter, I'd say he's a pretty typical x race horse. He likes to rush a lot, especially when there's jumps around. So I'm working on really slowing him down, making him realize that he doesn't have to go fast to get over the jumps. And since he's a very tall boy, he is a little clumsy with his feet, so he took down a pole, but that's okay. Then we set up the jumps a little bit. I got him very collected and he jumped both of the jumps very nicely. He's being such a good boy so I give him a small walking break. Astra set up this jump with fillers. It's no higher than a previous jump but it's a lot scarier. So I was kind of nervous to see how he reacted. Astrid gave me some tips and we went off. This was totally 
probably my fault, but I could not see my distance, so we took a long spot. I got thrown over his neck, and I would have fallen off if he wasn't a good boy and he stopped for me. Astrid suggested that I should get more organized before the jump and really sit back and count my strides. This time I got him a lot more collected and I felt more in control before the jump. The jump was lovely and he was such a good boy. I gave him lots and lots of pats after. Good boy, good boy. After that I was honestly really tired so I just got off and Astrid cooled him off. When we got back to the stables, I went to talk with the owner of the stables to ask if I could possibly have a job as a stable hand here. She said she actually did need a stable hand and I could get an interview next week, which made me really happy because now I have to care for Breeze and Esmeralda, so therefore I really need the extra money. When I came back, I saw that Astrid had already untacked Breeze and she was totally ready to go, so I thanked her and we headed back to the Daisy Stalls Equestrian Center. Okay, so on the way home, I stopped by Dover to get some stuff, so I thought I would do a little haul and show you guys what I bought. So the first thing I bought for Breeze is this Eco Gold Cool Fit Cross Country Saddle Pad. He really needed another saddle pad and also we're probably going to be doing some eventing shows soon so yeah he kind of needed this here is a mark todd three point breastplate i also bought for breeze i really hope it fits i really like the look of it and it looks really nice quality so i'm excited to use it then believe it or not i bought him a black bridle this is a Pessoa Black Grackle Bridle. He really needed a new one. His old bridle was very old and it was also brown while his saddle was black. So yeah, Astrid chipped in a little bit on this one so we bought it together. And yeah, I'm very happy with it. Then I also bought Breeze a new bit. This is the Eco Pure Loose Ring Rubber Single Jointed Bit from uh, Centaur Bits. I've been kind of testing different bits with him because I'm not really sure which one he feels most comfortable with yet. So yeah, I'm just going to try this one and see what he thinks. I also bought myself a helmet. This is the Charles Owen Sparkly Helmet. And I do still have a helmet that works, but since I'm going to be doing some showing soon with Breeze, hopefully, I want to have a showing helmet. So I'm just going to use this strictly for shows. I'm really happy with it because it fit my very strange head shape very well and that's difficult to come by. Then I also just bought some treats because I was running low and the good ponies need treats, okay? So that is going to be it for this video everyone. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'm really happy that you guys seem to be enjoying these videos so much because I certainly enjoy making them a lot. Anyways, if you have any suggestions for future videos like this, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. And I will see you next time. Bye!